there's heaps of new cars. The standard is up. I know, boy, and there's some hot Commodores out there too. I want to have a look at those. So let's get out there and have a look. Bigger cars, bigger power, baddies, Commodores, the whole lot. The standard's just gone through the fucking roof. She's a mixture out there, boy. You've got Rotors, Commies, Nissans. Oh, my right here, Dargaville's favourite son, Gaz Wider. He got a new car, boy. Yeah, yeah, we've spent um, three months building this new car. Um, it's got everything, pretty much. Everything we've learned from the old cars gone into it, and yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Had a few teething problems, it's a new car, so we're trying to sort those out. The gearbox went a bit weird on me out there, I had to stop it, and we towed it back into the pits, and it's come right, so. We're just going to drain the oil and see if there's anything in there. What gears are you using most through there? Um, well, with this gearbox, it seems to be third, and I have to shift a second in the last last little part of the section. It's all been balanced, and um, Ivan at On The Limit spent a bit of time on it. Also, Tony and Mark from Tricky Tune have put a lot of development into it. We think it's a good package. Um, it's making over 500 horsepower. It's still two litres, so it's yeah. got a PPG gearbox in there now, so it can handle the extra grip and power. So. Looking at the cars here, it's a, it's a big step up. We've had a three month break, so everyone's sort of up their game and the cars are looking really good and more professional every time we see them. The cars are at such a level now that you can't fund it by yourself anymore. Yeah. Um, we just use so many tyres and they're, they're really powerful, so it's, yeah, you need sponsors and, and they do, they are getting better and better. So I think the level is really good for how much track time we do get, yeah. so the more track time we'll do great. Is this someone we should really uh, be looking out for in, in the next couple of years? Um, well, Danum's, well, he's been driving a bit. Um, I'd look out for him. Now, boy, I watched you yesterday having some teething problems, and I noticed your old man was under the car stressing out like you are right now with your seatbelt, and I can sense I'd better bugger off because he'll probably clip me in a minute. But um, you nervous, pal? Um, I'm a little bit now. We sort of put our back against the wall. We did sort of one lap yesterday, and the oil line blew off, and you know, trying to learn the track when everyone had a day of it yesterday, and. Yeah, we've come a long way to try and qualify, and I hope like shit we can qualify, you know? Now, you're still a good-looking man, and you've got a great-looking car. Are you get like, is there any boys... that's a bonus. That is the bonus. That is the if bonus. You, if you're not good-looking and you're drifting, you're really going to go nowhere. You're scared of today, bro, and I, don't get me wrong, I'm scared of quite a few people. I'm scared of Dan, because I think he's gay, but... Are you scared yeah. of Are any of these boys out here? Together? We are, but he slept in another room which last night, which was quite ideal. I'm not really scared of. I've got, um, yeah, there's a lot of good guys here. You've got, you know, Fanger and Gaz and Carl Ruderman and Sam, and you've got Michael, this new car that just sounds awesome, you know. And, you know, there's some of the South Island guys I don't know anything about, but, you know, you've got Tiger White, the only guy I know down here, but yeah. the rest of them seem to be steering pretty good. Our biggest thing is we've just got to try and learn the track, learn what to do, and try and qualify, you know. I think you'll be comfortable out there. You just got to relax, bud. Yeah. I can, sense, I can sense you're a bit tense, you're a bit tight. Sense my nervousness. Now, all I want to see is you get out there and absolutely thrash it, boy. Okay. So, good luck, eh? Thank you, bro. Good boy. Right, oh, we're here with one of the old faces of drifting, is Fanger Dan. Dan, now, I'm a V8 boy, and from what I see here, you got the VY Commodore, and you've smacked a little bit of Nissan power in there, boy. Run us through what you got. Uh, yeah, we got the old uh, RB26. Um, put a single turbo conversion on it um, and um, some good cooling and yes running uh, 350 kilowatts. I've been wanting to build a Holden for uh, the last three years and um, finally bought one last year. I was trying to work on some sponsorship but um, we um, the original idea was Holden with uh, V8 supercharged but um, just, just couldn't get the sponsorship and um, with the Nissan engine it's you know the technology's there it's reliable and makes good power and it's cheap. Now I noticed yesterday I watched you in qualifying you coming into the switch there and just absolutely frying the tyres and holding the power through the corner. You weren't scared on that little dip over the top? No, nah, no, nah, that's that's the um, the funnest part of the track, eh? Just the, the feeling of having it so, out there and then just switching as you come over the rise. It just feels like you're gonna get like airborne. Almost and like how the um, the boys in motocross, how they scrub the, <laughs> scrub the mounds. I haven't weighed it yet, I'm too scared. <laughs> but um, I'd say it would be a good couple hundred kgs more. Yep. I knew it handled good. Um, like the boys at um, Autoline set up with the teen suspension and pretty much the same specs as the Sylvia. Any of the South Island boys that are going to put in any challenge or is it going to be the Auckland boys, um, the Rotary boys? Definitely or? the little cars, they, they, they might have a little bit better chase, but I'm just hoping that um, my rear quarters will um, 
keep them away, <laughs> swing into them. I told them this morning, I said, it's just about impossible to spin out, but um, I pushed it pretty hard a couple of times this morning and had, um, had a spin, so, oh. but um, no, they were just finding the limits on the day, that's, exactly. that's what it is, yeah. and um, I come out there and I was trying to chase a bit too hard, hit the tyres, but I'm not worried about writing it off, eh? Another holding in the mix is Johnny Udy debuting his LS1 powered twin turbo V8 Monaro. Um, just basically a, a, a twin turbo V8, uh, six speed uh, dog box in it, built in suspension. We were originally going to build a, a big unit and actually upgraded motor for it, but the, the dollars at the time we just we couldn't sort of stretch that far. So this is a good compromise between power and um, drivability for drifting. and, and we now it's actually worked really, really well. But what size turbos are you running? Um, there are only a couple of little ones. We've gone for response rather than outright power, just because obviously drifting, you need instant throttle response and be able to drive it off the turn and, and, and light, light the rears up pretty much instantaneously. So instead of going for building a big horsepower monster, it's still got a lot of power, but, but we're going for that torque. We're running on a smaller tyre than we would like to this weekend just for costs because this track sort of eats tyres. This car is fine on the on the last bit, it's yep. probably where it excels over the sort of the Datsuns and so the Toyotas. We sort of get through the middle bit, not so bad. We can we can hold our own to the middle bit and stretch its legs at the end bit there. Alright Johnny, straight to the final. Fanger versus Tiger. Last battle of the final. Here we go. Fanger definitely getting right up close to Tiger. Tiger seeming to pull away a little bit. Plenty of smoke. Look at the angle. Here we go. Just when you think you've got away from Fanger, he's right back up there. The switch. Beautiful. Both drivers just piloting those cars, terrorising the tarmac like no tomorrow. What an awesome day of drifting. Tiger White taking it out, and it's all bowling down to round four.